Hey guys, so uh, someone on the on the Playmaker forums asked uh, for a double tap. I was about to make just a reply chain, you know, with a bunch of instructions, but then I decided, hey, you know what, this is, uh, this kind of requires a video of its own. So, here it is. This is how you make double tapping. Oh. Probably. This is the simplest way, without adding too much complexity. So you start with a, well, just a nothing, a node with a, a get button and a bool test, just to make sure that you're actually pressing the button. You could use like a, a get button down or get button event or a button event or whatever I call it, right? But this is more robust in my opinion. So, uh, in this node, it's waiting for the button to be pressed. And once it's pressed, follow the green one. It's pressed once. It's still getting uh, the button, and in our case, horizontal. Still doing a bool test, but the only condition that we want uh, to continue on from the bool test is now the false value. When the button is released, then it sends a... Uh, an event that the button is released within this timer. Once this timer runs out, it'll continue on with this button is still pressed. And then the, it'll go here and wait for the button to be, re be released. And then it'll go back. But if it's pressed within this time frame of 0.2 seconds, it'll follow the green one again. Button is released to the double tap. And if the button is still pressed, or is now pressed rather, within the same amount of time frame, then you continue on to, it is double tapping. And it's the same uh, get button here, and then a bull test that just checks for when you release it again. And uh, that's how you get double tapping. So uh, let me show you within here that it's actually working, shall we? That's playing, and if I press D once and then just hold it, you'll see, yeah, it's now waiting to be released again. I release it, it's back to is not double tapping. There, I double tapped, and now, well, it double tapped, so it's within the double tapping window. So now I have double tapped. Release it, it goes back. And you can continue to do this, and it'll just loop around. And since we're we have uh, set up logic for waiting when you release it r before you can go back to the start. You're not going to get like infinite loops, so uh, that's a good, it's a good thing to re to have when you do um, button context uh, sensitive st stuff within here, probably. And so, base, but now begs the question: How do I actually know? or send information now through this, where do I send information or how do I do that? So here you could basically just do like a set bool value or a set fsn bool and then just new variable is duh is duh duh bool tapping I'm typing with one hand so just send it. Now it's not double tapping, so set it to false. Copy that and send and back here. Uh, where's the paste? There it is. And then set it to true. Or you could do like the FSM bool and just send it to whatever script or FSM that you have. So if it's like whether or not you're running, so FSM now is running or something, and then is double tapping, right? And then set it to false when it's not doing anything. Copy and paste, and now set it to true. That's how you send information. Uh, if if you're gonna send like bools or whatever, 
could send send an int or a, uh, a float if you want. But you only need to like reset it in the start and set it to true or whatever value that that you want for running or whatever you want for double tapping inside of the is double tapping node. These don't need to have any information set because it's just checking whether or not it's press or whether or not you've actually pressed it again. So within these two, that's, that's all you need. It's quite simple actually. Uh, I don't know if it, there's an easier way to you know, trim down the, amu the amount of no nodes that you have. The less nodes that you have, the better. And I think this is the least amount that you would need. I hope that helps. Uh, it's a quick tutorial. I know I've been gone for quite a while, but such is life. <laughs> I hope it helps. Take care now.